So, I remember some almost 20 years ago when I first got diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. I carried around a separate insulin pump. Eventually, I got a Dexcom that needed its own receiver. And so, I was always looking down at the Dexcom receiver to know what to give myself with my insulin pump. Those days are gone, okay? This is what I currently have on me, and that's all, okay? No other devices, anything like that. It's all controlled by my phone. And the reason that I'm able to do that is because of some amazing apps. And that's what I want to talk to about today because there are just some incredible apps for Android that you guys just should know about. I've been using them for years and they're incredible. Uh, even if you're not an Android user, all these apps are Android exclusive. Honestly, they're powerful enough. Maybe you should consider getting a second device that runs Android. You know, you can get a decent used Android phone for pretty cheap and it will make your diabetes management a lot better, so. Okay, so first up, we got Android APS, and this is by far the most valuable application that I use. Uh, if you don't know what Android APS is, I've talked about it ad nauseum, and if you want a little bit more detail, go up here, um, but basically it's Android's version of Loop. If you have an iPhone or in your in diabetes communities, you've probably heard of Loop before, but basically it's a program that you run on your phone and it gets the data from your CGM, transmits it to the pump. Uh, it's hybrid closed loop before the FDA approved hybrid closed loop, uh, but it has many advantages to what the FDA approved. And number one is that it just will work with any device. You know, it doesn't need to be one of the seven Samsung devices that uh, has been approved for the Omnium Pod 5, for example. Uh, number two is that it gives you a lot more uh, flexibility. Uh, you know, for example, you can use the Dexcom G7 as your CGM or the or the Eversense implantable CGM. Uh, it just gives you a lot more flexibility because they're not regulated by the FDA. Um, there's pros and cons to that, <laughs> of course. Um, but anyways, if you're at all interested in building the Android APS app, I actually did a tutorial and I'll, I'll link that up here. Uh, it's just a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do everything. Number two is the build your own Dexcom app. And that is exactly what it sounds like. It's the Dexcom app that you build your own version of, right? So the just like the Omnipod 5, you know, Dexcom kind of has a limited number of devices that it works on. Granted, Dexcom's is a lot broader of a list than Omnipod 5, but there still is, you know, a lot of limitations there. The main benefit of the Build Your Own Dexcom app is you can bypass that limitation and hypothetically run it on any Android device. That's awesome. Uh, and then number two, it gives you other options, you know, like for example, if you're using the standard Dexcom app, you can't just, like say you get a notification that says you're high, you can't just swipe it away. Uh, to you know, dismiss it, get rid of the beeping. Um, but with Build Your Own Dexcom app, you can. And there are a lot of other like options that you have and you can kind of tweak it to how you want. Um, so even if you're on a device that does, um, that is supported by Dexcom, still might be worth checking out because again, some of those options are pretty valuable. And to get the Build Your Own Dexcom app, all you need to do is just Google Build Your Own Dexcom app take you to a Reddit post and you just fill out a Google form that you, you know, give just your email address and what options you want on there. And then within a couple minutes, it just emails you that APK you installed on your phone. You're good to go. And number three, we got Xtrip. And honestly, Xtrip is probably unnecessary for me. Um, build your own Dexcom app replaces a lot of the functionality of what Xtrip is intended to. Um, but Xtrip, works with pretty much every CGM ever. Um, and it's basically just a way to collect that data and display it. For me, all I use it for is it's got awesome widgets. Okay, so um, it, I use that widget on my phone, but also the big thing that it does is um, it allows me to do uh, the wearable widgets. Sorry, I hope you can see that. And I have my, my blood sugar just right there. And that's displaying the extra, the Xtrip app on my watch through an app called Wearable Widgets. Um, I also use it in my notifications because I like that it gives a lot more detail than the uh, Build Your Own Dexcom app does. Um, Dexcom app just basically gives a straight 
line or slightly up or straight up. No detail. Uh, extra gives you, you know, hey, in the last five minutes, you've gone up 20 points. Okay. A lot more valuable information and really helps you kind of catch those spikes when they're in the very beginning. Whereas extra, whereas Dex comes like, hey, you know, you were steady and then you bumped up 20, but we're still going to count that as a slow arrow just because over the last, you know, 15, 20 minutes, you've gone up a point, an average of, you know, two points a minute. But chances are if your blood sugar spiked 20 last five minutes, you know, you're, you're at the start of a spike. <laughs> so x -trip just helps me catch that a lot better. Um, I've never been able to use x -trip as an actual Dexcom app. Like I've never been able to get it to connect to any of my transmitters. Granted, I didn't try super hard because of the build your own Dexcom app, but that supposedly is an option. Um, it also works with, you know, the Libres if you get the adapter. Um, it works with pretty much every CGM on the market. Um, and then number four, and it's not really an app, but you've probably heard me talk about this. And definitely if you're uh, using Android APS or have looked into using Android APS, you've heard of it. And that's Night Scout. I actually don't have a current Night Scout account right now. That's how little I used it. But basically what Night Scout is, is it's like your own personal website that you upload your diabetes data to. And that's automatically done by Xtrip. And it is a requirement for Android APS. So I don't know if there's a lot of demand for a tutorial on how to create a Night Scout site. If there's like 15 comments down below about people telling me that they want a tutorial on that, I'd consider making that. Uh, but honestly, even though Android APS requires it, I never used it. And that, honestly, my account just went inactive because I never used it. Uh, but it's, yeah, it's basically Xtrip on a website. Hypothetically, you could share that website with your doctor. He could monitor you closer. But there are, you know, a whole bunch of reports and statistics and stuff that you can, you know, gather and compile and print off. But honestly, Xtrip has most of those reports built in. So I don't know. For me, I, I just don't use it. But again, if you're setting up Android APS, you are required to set one up and have it upload your data. Uh, I wish that they would get rid of this requirement, but I don't have any say there. Um, but yeah, I, that, that's pretty much it. Those are the four, well, really three things I use because I don't use, uh, I don't use a Night Scout site. Yeah, if you guys have any questions at all, please comment those down below. If you have any apps that maybe I should check out, please comment those down below as well. Uh, if you made it this far, you guys are awesome. I appreciate you, appreciate your support. Um, please just like and subscribe, help this video get to more people because it's really all I want to do is just help people. Uh, I did start a Patreon. If you guys want to, you know, just say, hey, Jake, you're awesome. Let me buy you Cafe Rio. Put a link down there. Never expected or required. Just a way as just a way for you guys to say thank you. None of my content will ever be behind a paywall or anything like that. Uh, it's just if you want to buy me Cafe Rio, which I would appreciate. Anyways, that's it. We'll see you guys in the next time.